I've been wanting one of these for almost two years now. That's a giant dime potential caribou right there. And he's 50 yards away from us. We hunted pretty hard yesterday out here on the Yukon Valley. We ended up getting a pretty decent sized caribou and a monster mythical grizzly bear. But I still really would like to get a diamond caribou. If at all possible, it would just be the greatest thing ever. Like I said before, we did get two of them but those were with my old account and uh yeah this is actually the second one and this is the one that i took out of a tree stand as well with the bow which was a pretty awesome moment too well it looks like we found the caribou that's actually not a bad level three right there i saw one that was pretty decent i don't know if it's in the same herd but he was going this direction so we'll see if we can't find him he should be down here somewhere that's definitely the one that I saw. He's 400 yards away and he's actually on the edge of this river bottom here. I thought he was gonna be up in that brush next to that other lake where the uh, rest of the caribou were, but apparently he's right out in the wide open here on the bottom of this river bottom, all alone. <laughs> so he must have branched off from that herd. Actually got a pretty nice pocket right here, 255. He's quartering at us, but I think if we hold right on that front shoulder, we should be able to bust through and get a single lung. I don't think we'll get double lung from this angle, but that is a beautiful looking bull caribou. Look at the tops on that thing. Wow. Definitely smoked that front shoulder. Should have gotten a single lung. I don't know if we'd have enough pen. I guess we're wrong. That had to be double lung. Either double lung or lung and liver because he went down instantly well here he is what an incredible bull caribou honestly this might even be yeah that's gonna be just an incredible picture right there awesome lighting wow normally when they go down in the water it's not that good but in this case the water is so clear and it's just such a great looking bull really is i honestly think if we can get from this side it would probably be even cooler because this side has a, a little bit more mass on it. That is so cool. Okay. Let's pick him up. And he's going to score 344. And we did get a right lung and liver. Just like I thought. We didn't hit shoulder. So that's another reason why we were able to get the penetration. But a 344 gold at 239 yards. That's an excellent bull right there. It really is. I think that's our... Is that our biggest one? I think we got like a 3... 30 yesterday maybe if i'm not mistaken but yeah we should probably save this one just because i think he's our, our coolest bull so far Ooh, that's a pretty big grizzly he's about 390 out i think we'll get a little bit closer to him this is our first big grizzly that we've seen so far so that's kind of cool i've been passing up tons of level sixes and fives i really wanted to find at least a seven and now we have a mythical which that's even better so yeah we'll get to about 330 i think did i say 330 it looks like we're actually going to be 230 because he's right there pretty much broadside quartering away slightly but we should be able to tuck it in there nicely and get a single lung and potentially the heart about 230 yards out it's gonna be kind of tough but i think we could do it i mean if i had to aim anywhere that's exactly where i'd want to aim so it looked good only gonna get a single lung though, so he's gonna run quite a ways. But as we're going over here, we actually have quite a few- Oh my god! That kind of scared me. I was gonna say we have a couple of bears here that we might as well take down. Because we gotta go this way anyways, so... Take down that one, then there was another one. Too much recoil, I can't find it. That's right, that should clear the path up for us. So we can get there nice and safely now. So here's the second bear, the one that we just got. And that was actually a level 6, left lung at 199. Pretty nice shot there, 60.40. And our mythical, I believe, is over here. So this is kind of cool. If you look closely, you can see that's a vital hit. And it's actually in the water. So this is where our mythical is standing. We were right over there, about 230. He was standing here, and he ran back this way. Oh, That's even bigger than the one we got yesterday. 65.8 mythical wow but a beautiful shot there 224 tucked in there pretty much exactly right where i'd want it 
right in the center of the lung, quartering away at 224, but a 65.8 gold grizzly. Ooh, that's another max weight bull caribou out there, 419 yards away. This time, I don't think we're gonna get any closer. We're just gonna slide over to the left a little bit and go for about a 400 yard shot. I came over here because I saw some tracks for some uh, great wolves and all of a sudden I looked up and this old bull was sitting out here right out there all alone. Surprisingly, the last two bulls we saw were just uh, solo bulls. They're all alone, but 413 yards. So let's see if we can't make this happen here. I really want to go prone, but I don't think we're going to because potentially we could uh, hit the ground. So we don't want that. Held right for the spine and the fact that he didn't drop means that it should have gotten lung because otherwise we would have hit spinal cord that's definitely looking like a nice vital hit there at about 400 yards out that's what we like to see and it looks like he was running this way only got a single lung because he ran quite a ways but a single lung will take him down not too far away from here i see the rack i see the rack right there 80 yards away let's go take a look at this guy He's probably going to score somewhere around the last one, which was, what, 340, I think? Either way, another really, really solid bull. Let's pick him up. And 344, so this one's actually a slight bit bigger than our last one, but a 409-yard shot, and a left lung actually placed it there pretty nicely. I was holding it right about there, so we had probably like an 8-inch drop for 320. But smoke bull, and I think we might actually save him too because that's another really, really good bull. That's a pretty good level four right there. He's about 200 yards out, and there's another really good level four right there. He's really wide, but he hardly has any points on him, but I really want to take him down too at 240. So ideally, I would like to try and get both of them, but they're really not at good angles at all. We could try for a heart shot at 240, which I think that's what we're gonna do. How'd we do? Yes, got it. Okay, can we get this one out? Where'd he go, where'd he go? Oh, I can't tell which one's him. Got a bonus fox out there. I guess we could go for her. It's a female. So that's going to be a chunk of cash that I really don't want to pass up at this point. What do we have here, boys? Uh, level six and a female. And we have the 30 odd six, so don't worry. We're setting pretty good. Uh oh, there's more coming. That's another level six. Pop off the scope here and get ready to smoke a couple of these wolves. Wow, that wasn't too hard. That thing just bolted. And that makes number two. And I hit that one a little bit too high. Put a follow up into this one. One bullet left. I should probably reload. And I feel confident that we can make it count. And we definitely can, because he just dropped right on the spot. Oh, we got another one coming. Two more coming, actually. I always like to check to see what they are before I just go blasting away at them. Female and a female. All right. Should have been heart, but must have just missed it. That'll take her down. Where'd this one go? Were you trying to run away or are you trying to attack? Make up your mind. I think she ran away. Yeah. All right, well, got a little obstacle, but it's no big deal. Uh, that's a gold, 36 and a heart shot, the second shot there. And that's gonna be a six stomach intestine at 27. Got this one piled up here. Right lung and lung liver stomach. And we got one more that ran... Actually, where did it run? Is this the one? Uh, yeah. Double lung at 29. I think that's it. Oh. That zone just disappeared. We had a caribou zone there, but... <laughs> forgot about all that hunting pressure from the wolves. Hey! This wolf... Oh, no, this is our fox. I almost forgot about that. It's a good thing we went over here, because I never would have found or remembered this fox, but... Uh, four easy ended up getting 1100 cash for that so that's pretty cool let's grab this bull and heart shot left lung 330 really wide but like i said hardly any points on him 
223 yards and perfectly centered hard shot there. Well, I think we found our first decent gray wolf out here wandering around at 240. It's a nice seven and we should be able to get on him. This time we're definitely putting the scope on. Look how he's walking so slow. I think we just smoked him. I would have to say, yes, we definitely smoked him. Look at him just piled right up. Wow. Didn't expect him to go down quite so fast, but then I saw over here, that's a real decent bull caribou. And definitely smoked him if we didn't hit the brush. Yes, he smoked you. So I think that was like a pretty decent level four. He should make gold. And of course that wolf should make gold as well. But since we're over here, we're going to pick up our bull and 352. What? This is technically our biggest bull yet. I mean, I guess he has some tall points, but he doesn't really look bigger than the last couple that we got. Anyways, double lunged him at 228 and a nice gold. Really nice shot on him. And here's our wolf. We'll swing by and pick him up. And double lunged him, 37 score. So pretty solid gold there, but 240 yard. And we tucked it right behind the front shoulder. Yeah, that wolf was definitely smoked. 240 yard double lung shot on the walk. And a nice gold gray wolf. I honestly can't believe my eyes at this moment, but that right there is a giant diamond dental caribou. He's absolutely huge. 441 score. I just finished hunting. And all of a sudden I took a shot at this uh, harlequin duck over here, which he did drop out of the sky. And uh, I don't even know exactly where he would be, but ah, there he is right there. Look at 80 yards away. There he is. And all of a sudden I looked way over here and I saw something charting that direction. And it's that guy. It's a giant Dom Dunchil caribou. Okay, we got a perfect wind. Let's get set up and make something happen. Okay guys, so this next part, it's kind of hard to explain. I just finished hunting last night and I just edited the video, put it up on YouTube. And I wanted to join one more time real quick to see what was on my map, just so I can get an idea. So I actually had a date plan to go somewhere with my girlfriend. And at that time I needed to leave in about five minutes. And <laughs> All I knew was it's been a long time since I've seen one of these, so I really needed to make it happen fast, and I also couldn't, you know, like the old days, if you found a diamond on your map, you could just end the map and then, you know, join the next day and it's still going to be there. But nowadays, with this whole thing where the animals go from zone to zone and they kind of disappear for days, I've had a diamond potential animal where I didn't see it for days and it never even showed back up. So basically what I'm trying to say is I had to get it as soon as possible and I really wanted to take it down with a bow. So yeah, with that being said, I hope you understand how this hunt actually did turn out. So I'm wondering, had we not taken a shot at that duck, would we even be able to see this caribou? 6.9, that's almost a diamond duck. 189 yards in the fly, left lung, smoked that thing there, wow. And there he is. Look at the size of that thing. Oh my god. Okay, he's definitely noticing something's up. He's smart. We can't just be crouching out there. So he's only like 150 out. We could call... I think the caller works to like 160 if I'm not mistaken. So we could try and call or we could try and get a little bit closer to him. That's the question we have to answer. Okay, I definitely think he's coming this time. We'll kind of hang out on the back side of this rock here. we got a bull right on top of us. He's probably going to spook, but that's all right. Come on, where is he at? There he is. What a beautiful bull. He's 80 yards away. Which, he's definitely in range. If we need to, but we're going to be patient. We'll let him come a little closer. I don't know how close he's going to come because we don't have good cover. But he should come to like 50 at least. I would imagine so at least. We have a good wind. This is not going to help out much, but... Come on, move! Okay. I don't think that that's going to spook them. I really hope it's not going to. Uh, no, not really. Still don't quite have him interested enough.
We might go for like a 65 yard shot if he comes back here. 86. Okay, let's actually back down this hill so he can't see us as good. Honestly, I didn't think that this would happen, but this is set up perfectly. He didn't want to come in at first because, well, we couldn't get any cover. We still don't really have any cover, but because we are prone... Are we going as slow as... Yeah, we are going as slow as we can. Because we're prone and we have a little bit of brush here, we actually do have some cover. And he's just out there feeding. Right there, broadside at 78 yards away. Perfectly broadside. We should be able to get even a little bit closer. I've been wanting one of these for almost two years now. That's a giant Dime Potential Caribou right there. And he's 50 yards away from us. I think we're going to take the shot. Oh, I don't have a shot. Let's get a little bit closer. Which one? Oh, that's him. Okay, guys. He's 46 yards away. He's 46 yards away right there. 42. That's him. Turn broadside. Turn broadside. He's not going to do it. We're going to have to go for a single lung. Smoke them in the front shoulder. And he just piled up. <sighs> Giant time potential caribou. Just smoked him. Oh, guys, here he is. <laughs> here he is. I've been waiting for this moment for almost two years. We'll take a picture like this quick. Looks like we made an awesome shot. And let's pick him up. He's a 441 diamond. We got a left lung stomach at 44 yards away. That's a monster. 430 is a minimum. 441. What an awesome bull caribou that is there. Had to take kind of a straight on shot because he didn't want to turn. Well, he probably would have bolted if we went to taking that. But left lung stomach at 44 yards. And I am so happy to have this in our trophy lodge. Okay guys, so let me show you the spot where we just got that giant diamond caribou. It's over here by the Rustland Ridge. A lot of people hunt this area, and I've seen tons of decent level fours here, but I've never once seen a true level five. And well, that's right where he was, right here, from five o'clock till 9.30. We came in from this lodge here, spotted him right here after I took a shot at that duck, snuck around the edge of this uh, lake here, and we popped up right here, about 40 yards away, and got him. Well guys, welcome back to our trophy lodge and for the first time in almost two years we finally have ourselves a giant diamond caribou and we got him with a bow. I am so grateful for this moment. Like I said before, it was really tough on me when I did lose my old account and this was one of the really special diamonds that I did like a lot. And the fact that we finally have one now, a 441.2 diamond caribou is so cool and he just looks phenomenal i'm so happy with the way that looks i think we're leaving like that and that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time